How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports. Today we're looking at another custom order. This is a 1990 Subaru Sandbar Tri Dios 2 van. And we've had several Subaru vans and trucks in the past. This one has specific equipment that the customer had asked for, which is why it did take quite some time to find this one. And especially with the sunroofs, any cave in with a sunroof is always gonna be a little harder to find than the traditional commercial ones that are you know, pretty much everywhere in Japan. I do have another one of these on the way with the same equipment. I think it's got a little higher miles, but it is an automatic. And again, the, once we go over all the equipment on this one, you'll see why I got that one. I tend to stay away from the automatic K-Vans and trucks because those old CVT transmissions don't, uh, they're just not very good, reliable. But again, with everything copy and paste that this van has, it's gonna be uh, well worth it. So just gonna start off by doing a quick little lap. Just like the mini video, this one will be quite short because there's not really much to go over on the van except the equipment itself that it comes with. When I say equipment, I mean, all I mean is this one has four wheel drive. Again, this is what the customer wanted. Four wheel drive, factory five speed manual, the sunroof, factory and working AC, and a supercharger. So it's like the king of K-Vans in my opinion. Like that's pretty much every solid bullet point when you're looking for a K-Van. I have been driving this one around. I don't like to drive them around if they've been sold. Went to go get gas, do a couple of things to it and it handles beautifully. Um, you know, it, ex it accelerates faster, better than any normal K-Van would. You do get that extra oomph and you can definitely feel it while you're driving. Haven't taken it on the interstate, but the last one I sold, I sold to uh, a couple in Richmond and they drove it from Atlanta all the way back up. Had an issue close to home, but uh, we're able to get it back. And again, had no problems driving it all the way up there on the interstate. Right hand side, obviously, or right hand, right lane cruising, obviously. But uh, the supercharger definitely makes a huge difference. So again, these are 25 year old cars. It is gonna have some cosmetics. This one does, again, these vans are pretty much commercial vans over there. They are little workhorses. Don't think this one was doing any major carrying or anything like that, but you can see there's a little dent right here. It's gonna scratch right here or right here. The decals, so on the other side, it does have supercharger. This one is missing that supercharger. You can see the decal on this side is fading. You have a little bit of rust repair right here on the rear window. Back bumper does have some dings and bruises. Again, decals just fading all over just because it is a little older. A little more rust repair. Again, cosmetics over in Japan are not the best. We've gotten lucky with some of them, but I like to do stuff like that over here. But again, something that small isn't really even that big of a deal. So you can see the superchargers on this side. It does have some scrape on the plastic right here. have a scrape right here probably from that accident or collision not even accident but brushing up on front bumpers got some chips in the paint and the top of the car again is in good condition one ding right here And underneath, obviously, you know, we don't buy cars with rust unless they're little itty bitty specks like that. That's chewing up the chassis. We tend to stay away from that. So the inside is extremely spacious. We had caffeine and octane this weekend. I was able to fit our entire everything in here, the tent, all the RC trucks, the merchandise, boxes of whatever else we need, the weights. So it is really spacious. These seats do fold down. You have to remove the um, headrests. 
You have to do this side first, I believe. No, this side first. Fold that down with this lever right here, and then it'll fold in. Um, they do have this weird, again, it's like, it's like duct tape. <laughs> It feels like oh no yeah it's just some cover but it's just wood covering up the back because they don't have the original carpet There's nothing really to hide they're just it's dirty but again no rust it's just dirt over years accumulating never been cleaned the headliner is not in the greatest of conditions probably could use a good shampooing like a strong good shampooing Immaculate, like foam is strong on all of them. Barely looks like anyone has sat in these seats. Cup holders, big plus. It does have rear heat, which I think is pretty cool. And then just in case you want to try to translate, that's how you fold the seats down. Got your manual AC or manual windows back in the rear. Original mat. You got another aftermarket cup holder that's velcroed up to the front. That is your power steering, I think. Pretty sure that's your power steering. So it is a five speed manual transmission. It's got extra low all the way on the left. So like super first. Um, like I said, rear heat, aftermarket stereo, which again is a Japanese stereo. It's not going to do us any good here. Ice cold AC. And you've got your front pop-up sunroof. And then you've got the rear. Oh, I need to clean all that. Yeah, that's nasty. And then you've got the, I mean, the Daihatsu is called the super cosmic roof, but it's just sun sunroof for the Subarus. This one's got 78,373 kilometers. Again, another five digit odometer. It's 1990. It hasn't given, shown any indication it's rolled. My guys, when they looked into it, said that it has not rolled. So it is uh, around 50,000 miles. If it was rolled, it would be around, you know, 160 something. No, 100, like 110 or 12. But again, it has not rolled. Um, supercharger, little logo. It does light up when it does kick in. It's pretty cool. And extra, extra super logo. So I guess I'll turn this on. It is a rear engine. So that's really the only difference between most, again, without the supercharger and turbos, you know, some Daihatsu and <clears throat> other models have that equipped. These are government regulated boxes. So Japan went to every car manufacturer and said, you have this little box to build whatever you want. These dimensions, it has to be, you know, <clears throat> three to four cylinders and under 660 cc's. Have at it. So all of these vans for the most part drive differently. The only difference are like round headlights, different shapes. The engine may be cab over. This engine's in the rear. Um, so, I mean, they, but they all drive the same for the most part. It just really depends on what, no parts easier to get than the other. You're going to have to probably order parts from overseas. So when people, you know, ask me, they're like, which one would you get? It's like, well, I just, you know, it doesn't matter to me. They all are pretty much the same thing. Turned right on. And everyone's favorite part.
you can see in between i don't know if you can because i'm not tall enough there's no indication of leaking there's no rust especially under here so i mean this thing is and i have detailed it myself several times nothing on the inside if there was rust there'd be water build up everywhere and yeah this one's really nice this is good now when it does stop i had someone at the car show ask me they're like oh it's messed up it's messed up no that's a safety feature so it's going to come up to about like right here pause and then you have to re-engage it to fully close okay that's it boom and you do have to unfortunately manual Oh, aftermarket Momo steering wheel too. Uh -uh. But that's about all I can say about this one. Again, it's super rare to find something like this in this condition or these with all this type of equipment. That's what I try to keep in stock. I always tell everyone, if you're looking for something specific, especially something like this, please, you know, contact me, let me know what I can do to explain how our custom order process works. It'll get you pretty much exactly what you want. Just requires a little bit of patience. But you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the next video.